Good evening, LA Filnaz. It's day five, Thursday, May 5th, 2022. Welcome to our half million mobilization prayer journal, praying our way to Pentecost. Our verse for tonight, Mark 11, 25. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them so that your Father in heaven may forgive your sins. Our scripture insights were written by Sam Vassell, District Superintendent, Metro New York, Church of the Nazarene. Jesus links our privilege of being forgiven by God to our responsibility to forgive those who offend us. In Luke 11, 4, the correlation is just stated, forgive us, for we also forgive everyone. In Matthew 6, 14 to 15, after Jesus teaches the fundamentals of prayer in seven petitions, the only petition that elicits his added emphasis and explanation was the one having to do with asking God for forgiveness. Nazarene New Testament scholar Roger Han noted that verses 14 to 15 amplify this point and make it clear that forgiveness from God will be forfeited if we refuse to forgive those who have offended us. Nelson Mandela insightfully said before he left prison, as I stand before the door of my freedom, I realize that if I do not leave my pain, anger and bitterness behind me, I will still be in prison. Forgiveness means letting go. Our release from guilt by God is simply inextricably linked to our letting go of the pain, anger, and bitterness we hold toward those who have wronged us. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, who asks for forgiveness for those crucifying him, please forgive my sins. And fill me with the Spirit of Christ so that I, like Christ, will be able to forgive those who hurt me deeply. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. For prayer journal reflections, please answer this question. Make your own journal. Write comment down below. Write your answer there. Now, what is your takeaway? What is the Holy Spirit saying to you today about the Lord's protection, direction, and revelation for your life and the life of the church, L.A. Filnes? Thank you. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.